But I was scared because I have no balls and I didn't. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you rolling there, Scott? Is that what you blow? Snotty B. I am rolling. The 15 Minute Morning Show podcast. Here we go. We got Woo. a room full. We got Scotty B over in the Serial Killers podcast Hello. booth. We've got uh, Gandhi. Hello. We've got that crumb bum Scary Jones. <laughs> You're a crumb bum. And Durant. there's <laughs> Garrett. Oh. And there's Danielle. Hello. Straight Nate. Hello. And I'm your hostess with the mostess. Um, let's go. Where do you want to start? Well, I wanted to bring something up, and Scotty, you're okay if we talk about this? Oh, yeah, it's no big deal. Oh, so oh, we God. had, oh, well, no. he had an incident yesterday, which I think they would call a missed connection on Craigslist. Do you remember the missed connections? Yeah. 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 I saw you on the train. Yes. You were hot. I wanted to get your number, but I got off the train, and you weren't there. So, Scotty, if you did the audio version of your missed connection, yeah. what would it sound like right now? Um... Hey, blonde woman at California Pizza Kitchen in Huntington last night. I know we looked at each other, and you were eating by yourself, and I wanted to say hello, but I was scared because I have no balls, and I didn't. What's up? <laughs> well, I think, can, can we readjust that? Can you take out the no balls part? Yeah, the no and balls thing, more kinda, success? it kind of ruins everything. Because she, she probably wants to date yeah. someone with the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I well, no, I, you never know. Just no, say, I, no I came say. out of the bathroom, and, and, and she was sitting there eating a salad, a buffalo chicken salad or whatever, their barbecue chicken salad by herself. And I was like, damn, she's really cute. And like, I caught her eye as I was walking around the corner from the bathroom and I smiled and I didn't look long enough to see if she smiled back because I was scared. So then I just sat back down with my daughter and I was, I was going to tell my server because I know the server. I'm like, listen, I'm not going to say anything to her because I'm scared, but here's my credit card. Just run it. I want to pay for her. Oh, dinner. Oh, oh, why did you do that? After I left, I, I was like, damn it. Why didn't I do that? And, um, you know, I just, I don't know. It was it was a missed opportunity, and I feel like she was put there for a reason, and I screwed it up again. <laughs> I don't think, I think she'll go back. No, I, now I you have to th eat there every day. I go there a lot, <laughs> and I've never seen her eating there by herself. I mean, look, she could have been married. I didn't look at her hand. Yeah, I don't right. know if she ever ring. She may come back every day now just to see you. Oh. 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 Maybe well, go back today to see what happens. Do you I think can't. maybe she saw that you were with your daughter? Yeah. And maybe she's like, hmm, I don't but a lot of people like single dads too. So yeah, yeah I don't know. It's just, I don't just know. I, I just uh, I, I'm, I was very annoyed with myself, and I was tossing and turning all night. Like, what an idiot! Why didn't oh, see, I? See, here you go. You're obsessing over yeah. someone again. Well, he overthinks the craziest thing. Can reason. we also back up, know. Gandhi? Can you give yeah. him a pep talk on this con the confidence thing? We've been trying yeah. to like help him. I kind of at this point I I fear he may be unhelpable <laughs> because we've tried so many times we keep telling him to stop saying he has no balls and yep. he's scared and he's a wimp and a wussy and like all these things nobody likes that nobody wants to hear that and you're not those things do you really you're think great. You, do you really think you are those things you know what I mean I I sometimes I do but I go back to the that other girl that I direct messaged oh my God. and I would never do that in my life but I did it and it so worked. I, it worked for a second. Until um, you started getting, oh, well, I'm a wimp, I'm right. a wussy, I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you say Sheldon's enough, you'll believe it. Right. That's what Sheldon is constantly telling the kids. Don't even put that into the universe. Don't say those things out loud because then those things become reality and you get them in your head and, and you put that out in the universe and that's what the universe gives back. Right. Stop don't it. do it. But then Listen I'm also Sheldon. thinking, you know what? He's British. She, she's going to throw barbecue chicken at me and my kid's there. And I'm gonna, she oh, okay, okay. You know what? Oh, you've already, you've already totally ruined everything. Move on. Scotty. Can I, can go, to, go to another a chain restaurant. I usually do. Why don't you start with the, the waitress and see if the waitress knows her? Oh, oh yeah. Maybe she's a regular. I can do that. But what? I'm saying where I'm, I'm very regular, and I've never seen her there before. What were you about to say, Gandhi? Well, I was going to say just an example of him overthinking things. Do you know what this man texted me this morning? Uh, what? He walked by and he poked me in the side and I sort of like sat up and I made the little heart symbol at him and he didn't do it back. So I started like sort of rolled my eyes at the same time. He poked Sam. He texted me. Are you upset that I poked Sam after I poked you because it negated the poke that I gave you? Uh, I said, Scotty, what the fuck are you wow. talking about right uh, now? Really, wait, you know, wait, you're a tragic. You know <laughs> Thank what I, you. You're, I'm glad that you guys. This are is home. tragedy. This is tragic. You know what else I texted Gandhi yesterday? I was I was at Lululemon I yesterday. I can't with you. <laughs> And um, so I was standing at the counter, and, and there was a girl in front of me that was at the register, and she was cute, really cute. And um, so the woman at the register says, yes, can I have your phone number for, uh, you know, whatever, rewards or whatever it is. So I'm listening, and I, and I remembered her phone number oh when she said God. it. Oh, God. Yeah. That is creepy. Thank you. That, that is creepy. Yes. Did you memorize her credit card? He said, would it be creepy if I texted her? I yes. said, do yes. not, that in capital be... letters, not text Probably. her. No, I don't think <laughs> I ever would have done creepy. that. But you know there's people that do that. I guarantee you there's people that hear from you. Well, you're one of them. What? <laughs> you 
remembered her number. I did. He also remembered her first and last name and contemplated sliding into the DMs. And I said, did okay, you, if you do that, do not say you were behind her in line. Did you find her? Like I didn't. I couldn't find her. This, I know, but how do you say anything in DMs if you don't tell them how you've seen them? You can, oh, People, like, you just, hey, you're cute, Hi, whatever. You don't know me. Yeah. This, this yeah, happened I find one, you of, attractive. one of my friends <laughs> recently. And she, she was at a bar giving her phone number to a guy. And a third dude at the bar heard her number and then slid into her DMs saying, hey, couldn't help but notice how to shoot my shot. Ew. And she's like, blocked. That is creepy <laughs> as That's hell. That's creepy. But he tried. He did. He shot his shot. Yeah. Okay, shot down. Scotty, but... Let's say you did say, hey, excuse me, miss. Uh, I see you dining alone. From across uh, the room? From across the room. Oh, I'm staring at you. Uh, would you like to go out sometime? I mean, and, and she says no. Would you at least be comfortable with the fact that you tried? Yes, but I would have to leave immediately. <laughs> with your daughter. Then yes, with my leave daughter. Leave your credit card with your daughter and let her pay. Yeah. Oh you wait in the car. I, it's, uh, so when Scotty sent me that text message, Brandon is in town. So I read it to Brandon, and Brandon goes, that is not real. Scotty's not a real human. That's not, <laughs> this isn't actually happening. I had to show him the text message, and he goes, oh, my God. Tell him not to do that. I said, I already did. Don't worry. Oh, See? Scotty. Hey, this Scotty, whole thing is not Scotty, easy. Scotty. It's just not. Scotty. <laughs> what? You know nothing about life. I, you're correct. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty, I know, it, you know it's not <laughs> easy, but you life. know what? What if, put yourself in your daughter's shoes. Your daughter's dating. Some guy does that to your daughter. Exactly. How you feel? I'm just I'm just cringing at her dating. Okay, well. I just think this the single sexiest accessory anybody has is confidence. Mm -hmm. And you got to work on it. Because you're a great guy, Scotty. You have so much going yeah. for you. I'm trying to build it. I'm trying. I don't think you are. Give it a few years, and then you know your daughter. Years, you, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll tell you why. Your, your daughter doesn't have that much time. <laughs> my cholesterol is so high. Oh my god! <laughs> your daughter's gonna introduce you to some of her friends in a few years. Oh, so be great. No. oh, oh my god. god! I'm telling you, Disgusting. this is how it's gonna go. Are you, are you serious? Yeah, you, know, you could date the 20, 23 year old too when your daughter's scary. 23. Are scary. you nuts? Scary. Do you know how old he'll be when his daughter's 23? He's a zaddy. He'll always be Zaddy. Oh my God! Hello, I gotta go. Oh, I'm talking about when she's 23. Let's, let's, let's end Anthony. early. Die. I need a shower. Die. I need a shower. We're gonna go. This Die. is just <laughs> so creepy. Ew. Oh God! Goodbye. That laugh.